As young teenage kids, most of us think we're invincible. We hear about the stories of kids making mistakes and ending up dead, paralyzed, or brain dead, but we never really imagine ourselves as the ones to be in that position. I know a lot of you have probably done a lot of reckless things for the fun of it and can look back on those memories as fun and crazy, but we are all also lucky um, to still be here today to even tell those memories. Being a newly licensed driver, the only thing on my mind was how much freedom and how, how much fun I could have without really taking into account the responsibility and danger of driving a car. Life will throw everyone curveballs, and despite the hardship each curveball may bring, they also help you grow. I know for a fact if I didn't get in trouble for half the things I did in high school, maybe I wouldn't be here today. I'm thankful for my bad days as it makes the good days that much better. In my junior year of high school, my two friends and I went for a drive to a really pretty view spot near my house. What started out as a fun night ended up with a flipped car in the middle of a canyon that could have killed all of us. I was a nervous driver already as I had not had my license for long and I had already been in a minor accident, which I got in serious trouble for. Because I was scared of crashing again, I let my friend drive my car to the pretty, really pretty view spot. I trusted my friend as he had had his license for over a year and had never crashed before. Um, and he wanted to be the driver, so I didn't see any harm in saying no. First lesson I learned, you're better off driving if you're scared and driving slow than letting someone else drive who's confident and drives recklessly. Despite my friend having his license for more than a year and never crashing, he was still an unsafe and reckless driver which I realized as we were driving down the canyon. I was a front passenger and my best friend to this day was sitting in the back. We continuously kept reminding him to keep the speed down as we were driving in the dark on a really windy road. His speed kept pacing back up. It was pitch black and after he made a turn on the windy road, there was an immediate turn after, but because he was driving too fast, he didn't have enough time to react to the turn that was right in front of him. This is why I say I would have been driving off I would have been better driving off despite being really nervous behind the wheel because at least I would have been driving slow and would have had the time to react to the turn. My friend didn't make the turn in which we drove off the cliff of the canyon and went flying in the air before hitting solid ground. In the moments of the car flying in the air, we were all silenced as we, was, we had no idea what was about to come. We hit the ground and were hitting many trees and bushes and flipped a few times. It was not until we hit one bigger tree which brought the car to a complete stop and save us from falling further down the cliff. Luckily, we were all in one piece in which we got out of the car before the car started to smoke up and almost went up in flames. The windshield was broken, tires were everywhere, my car was completely in pieces all throughout the canyon. Well, the only thought on my mind after getting out of my car was how much trouble I was going to be in, I can look back on this experience as something that could have saved my life in the future. From trusting my friend to driving my car, to ending up in the middle of a canyon with, in a car that was almost in flames, my friends and I survived and we were really lucky. Every time you get in a car, you are faced with the possibility of death or injury. At the beginning of the night, I would have never imagined to have, been, to have come so close to a near-death experience. We all make mistakes in our life. For some, these mistakes can be de detrimental, and for others, they can just be something that they got away with. For me, this mistake has led me to be a super cautious driver, and if that accident didn't happen, I probably would have still been a reckless driver today. Um, I'm super nervous in the car, but I know that I'm better off being nervous and driving slow than driving fast because eventually, in the end, driving slow will save my life. This accident has made myself and my family much more careful drivers, which could save our lives or someone else's lives in the future.